right, so I got this from you. It says, I can't seem to quit drinking alcohol, even though I seem to suffer because of it. Then it says, should I just quit or keep on drinking and enjoy it? So, yeah, right. I, right. Is that correct? That's the question, right? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Yeah. Right. So, the, yeah, if it doesn't seem like you can quit it, then you, what I shared earlier, and I'm going to repeat myself, is simply be aware. Be aware of your drinking pattern. Just simply bring awareness to it. That now you're not drinking robotically. You, you are aware that you're drinking. And, and in that shift of being aware, also come to this place of self-acceptance. Because when you're drinking, you're enjoying it, you have fun. And then the next day you wake up and you hate yourself, or you may beat yourself up. So the mind is going to come and blame you for what you did in the night before. So you want to be watchful of the mind coming and beating you up and not go there. Just simply having an awareness that now the mind is going to come and blame you. And then two days after, the same mind is going to come and tell you, drink. Mm, so, right. yeah, by bringing the awareness there, so there's awareness here, and is aware of the mind, you've already separated yourself from the thought patterns, and you have already separated yourself from the body who wants the alcohol. Awareness has nothing to do with it. So once you come to the full awareness, you are not drinking. Your body is drinking and your body suffers, but you are aware of the drinking and you're aware of the suffering and you're aware of the joy, but you are not them. You are simply aware of them. Wow. Yeah, right. So, yeah, this way you become total with what you do. You drink, you enjoy it, and then the body suffers. But now there is no mind boggling about any of it. There is no judgment that you should do it or you shouldn't do it. It's just a process that takes place, and there is somebody here completely aware of this process. So now a shift has taken place. And in that shift, that you are no longer involved with this process. You're not blaming yourself, or you're not claiming the joy. You're simply aware of what is happening. So something opens up, there is space. And in that opening of the space, which awareness is here, what happens is the possibility of breaking free from this habit, it becomes more possible and more possible. Am I making any sense? Yeah, totally. It, it, it's. Uh, I think it's uh, exactly what I wanted to hear, and it makes total sense. Yeah, and it's amazing. Right. Be it's aware. aware. Yeah. Be aware of the mind is going to come and do all kinds of self judgment. So, and just simply be aware of the thoughts that come the next day, and and of course you're hanging, you're not feeling good because the body is suffering. So it brings depression and it's very easy for the mind comes and says, oh, you idiot, you stupid, you never get better, you're never gonna get anywhere. And no, 
the mind is going to come and tell you these things. But this is a karmic pattern that you have to burn. So until you finish this karma that you have with alcohol, it's not going to stop. So simply be aware of it and go through it and let it till it ends on its own. And in the meantime, you put it out to existence, which I'm sure you have, and you ask your guru, you ask your higher self to free you from this karma. But don't go in any of the same self-blame and beating yourself up. That's a phenomenon of the mind. Simply bring awareness in what you're doing and enjoy it when you're drinking. What a wonderful answer. I am totally pleased with it and totally thankful for it, no doubt. That well, thank, thanks for being open and sharing this. You, you, that's very courageous of you to publicly share this. And I'm, I'm happy, happy to hear that. I'm happy I was able to help. And feel free to join us again. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for showing up. Nice seeing you all. Love you. God bless. Stay well, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.